Hey everybody, it's Ozzy Rodriguez, here with the sixth and final part of the PSD to WordPress using Dynamic for Genesis. Uh, in the last part we changed some of our widths of our template and our uh, we styled our easy homepage, or most of it. Uh, today we're going to be doing a slider and uh, some responsive stuff. So let's get started. Um, here's what it looks like right now. Um, I changed the featured top. Um, I added in the words from the PSD file. Uh, you can do that um, just adding a text widget. Um, the slider that I'll be using is the uh, Genesis Bootstrap Carousel. Um, there's a download link uh, in the last article and I'll put one in this article as well. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is um, adjust the settings for that. Um, post is okay. Uh, going to do new items, that's the category um, that our posts are in. Um, we're going to go 992 and 428 uh, for our slider. Um, we want to display the post and page title in the carousel. Uh, we want to uh, display the post content up to 125 characters. Uh, caption width, we're going to change that to 35%. Uh, and we want it located at the top left. So we're going to save those settings. And we're ready to get started. Uh, so we're going to go to Dynamic Customs. Um, in our conditionals, we're going to set a is front page, so we only want it on the front page. You can also add um, a new one um, and do is home, which is another uh, WordPress conditional that you could use. Um, but we'll just be using the is front page. Um, we're going to do our uh, set our widget. And we're just going to call it slider. And it doesn't really matter where we hook it. We're not going to hook it. Um, we're going to use a short code because we're going to create a hook box. And we're going to add, um, so we're going to leave that blank. So in our hook box, we're going to do slider hook. Uh, we want to add it after the header. Uh, we definitely want it hooked. Uh, the conditionals we'll do is front page. And for the um, the text that we want to show up. So we're going to put it inside some divs um, that we're going to use to style it. Um, we're going to use our short short, quote, short code sorry, uh, for the a slider and then we're going to close the divs. So we'll save this to changes um, and then in the dynamic settings uh, we're going to change this, we're going to add our custom thumbnail. So we're going to change this to 950 by 300. Um, that's going to be the size of our image. So now, if we do a refresh, it shows up, it's all the way on the left, um, and we're going to change the way that looks by adding some custom CSS. So we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and I have this um, already all set up. Um, the first thing we're going to do um, is going to add a little bit of a space. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is add our the background for the slider and center it. Then we're going to add the white um, border around the images and we'll set it and we center it within the other div. 
Um, so now if we do a save changes, we'll close this, pop it in. So now we see that it's starting to get the look we want. Um, so we need to change the, the font, the color, and we need to move these uh, navigation uh, styles. So um, go back in here, we'll add some more custom CSS. So for the the caption, we change the uh, background and we add two backgrounds, uh, one um, that with no opacity and another one with opacity. Um, and that's for, um, in case there's a browser, somebody's using a browser that uh, doesn't support opacity um, in the background. We're going to change the text color. And then we'll change the header. We're going to style it with the uh, font uh, that we want. And now we'll change the, uh, we'll move the controls, um, the navigational controls, move those down uh, to 80% from the top. So now if we save changes, pop that back in. Now we have our slider looking much like the uh, Photoshop. So we didn't do the ribbon. Um, we could have done these, uh, if we slice these images up. Uh, for the navigations, um, I just chose to use the uh, ones that come with the uh, Genesis Bootstrap Carousel slider. Um, so it's looking pretty good now. If we try and do some responsive stuff, um, some of it looks, this stuff looks uh, a little weird um, at the bottom, so we'll adjust that. Now we'll go to um, dynamic custom or dynamic design. And we'll go to responsive. And the only ones we really need to mess around with are this first block. And that's just a matter of adding some CSS here. So now if we do a refresh, so the ribbons don't, uh, the ribbons go away uh, based on the CSS that we put in our uh, responsive menu, um, but it looks a lot like the, um, like the full size version. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, series. And uh, if you have any questions, please post um, any questions either on the YouTube video or on the article and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to the channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks.